Okay, swimmers will arrive no earlier than a maximum of 10 minutes before the start of their lesson. They will wait in an orderly fashion, two metres apart, adults wearing a mask. You'll have a bag with you, ideally a bag like this one being shown with your name clearly on it, containing your towel, underwear for after the lesson, and the float and the noodle that you will be given on week one. The adult accompanying the child will ideally have an envelope with the child's name and a mobile contact number of the person that's bringing that child to the lesson. Remembering that adults are not allowed in the pool building or facility at all. This door will be wedged open. Parents leave the child there. The child comes onto Paul's side wearing a onesie with a swimming costume underneath and flip flops. They get to the end, take the flip flops off quickly, putting them in the bag and then carry on to their group. This little swimmer is a group two. So she will come and put her bag as shown on the pool plan which is in group two. She will put her bag down, take her onesie off, take her float and noodle out of the bag. Onesie goes in as quickly as she can and she goes round to her group, she's group two, and she'll stand at a number that's not occupied. Number one, two, three, four. There she will wait until the teacher is ready to teach that lesson. At the end of the lesson, swimmers will exit using the steps, pick up their float and noodle and go back to their bag where they will put the float in their bag, pick up their bag and carry the bag and the noodle through to the changing rooms. Week one, the assistant will show you where to go. So we're following a, a, a through the changing rooms. On the call plan on the website, it's very clear which changing room to use. So this woman knows exactly where she's going. The doors will be wedged open to reduce any touch points. She will go through to the allocated changing room and look for the number that she used at the start and throughout her lesson in the water. So she was a number one, she's found her number one and she gets changed quickly if need be. She's got her towel, she quickly dresses, puts her underwear on, puts her onesie on, puts her shoes on and disappears. Remembering showers are not to be used at this current time. Minutes towards the end of the lesson, checking your watch, making sure you're punctual. The parent accompanying the child, if the child needs help changing, will walk to the changing rooms, keeping that social distance at all times from other parents. your hands, take your shoes off and enter the changing rooms, but only if your swimmer genuinely needs help. Ideally, we're encouraging independent changing so the swimmer can get changed by themselves and meet the parents outside. Ideally, we'd like swimmers to change independently and walk out of the door. There's an Aquakins member of the team here to make sure they're safe and to come out and meet their parents. See you next week.